Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys are new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit that little bell so you guys notified when we post and make new uploads. Today, we have another really long vlog for you guys. And we kind of like this style of vlogs, right? We're like, we take everything we do for the past two weeks and we put them in one big like hour long vlog. Mm -hmm. And today we have another one for you guys. So this is the time if you're about to eat a snack, this is like the perfect time. Like you mm -hmm. get your snack, you sit down, it's almost like a whole movie. I would say it's almost like a movie. Everything we post is like a movie. <laughs> if you guys are ready, please leave a like on this video. It helps us out a lot. We're excited for you guys to see it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Let's get it. We've made it to Portland. It's Kane's hometown. Oh, look at all this stuff. This morning has been so long. We woke up at like five in the morning, caught some flights, and we had a delay, so we had to wait an extra three hours. They must have redid this whole airport because there's so many nice places. We are in my hometown for the holidays, and I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited because Cameron's finally gonna take me on a hike, he says. <sighs> Basically, this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold you to that. You know, it's been seven years that me and Cameron have been together, and he has not been on a hiking trail in Oregon. See, what Carla doesn't understand is that my family we didn't really go on hella hikes all the time but now that i'm older we do different stuff anyways we're gonna go get our bags and i must say this airport is a lot nicer than i remember it being i'm just happy to be off the plane we were waiting so long carla has been a zombie this whole day she stayed up till six in the morning literally till we basically left and got no sleep so she's been just not even talking to me i've been talking to myself You guys already know who this is, but she's gonna introduce herself again. Oh god. Wait, she has to make her order. Hi, how are you? Do you guys have like hot chocolate here? Yeah, yeah they do. Does it not does it not have caffeine in it, right? No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. You can add caffeine if you want. No, nah, can I have it with no caffeine? You want white chocolate or regular? What tastes better? I like white chocolate. Like I was saying, but we were ordering from Dutch Bros. She's gonna introduce herself. This is my little sister. Hi, it's KK. It's you guys have only. seen her already. Yes, I'm so happy they're here. Miss them so much. Really excited. We're gonna have fun. Did you tell them we're gonna look at venues? Not You're just yet. spilling all the tea, man. Oh, sorry. Nah, it's cool. It's not. It's not a secret. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm so excited. I feel like a wedding planner. It's gonna be the wedding of our dreams. Um, I cannot wait. I'm so excited for them to be here. Can't wait to cook for them. Have a good time. Drink. Turn up. I'm just excited. I'm tired, but like I'm not that tired. It actually feels really crispy here. Like mm -hmm. the, the air feels air. fresh. I do miss seeing a lot of trees and stuff. That's one thing I, I take for granted because out there it's kind of just like just dirt. What do you feel like? <laughs> like our neighborhood has like some trees, but they're not like natural well, trees though. Mm, yeah. But yeah, guys. Our neighborhood now is a lot better. I don't know what yeah, but definitely, or Oregon's definitely a really nice place, so I'm excited to be here and see my fam. We're in Oregon. It's obviously Cayman's hometown, and we're here for Christmas. We try to come out here to like spend time with family, and his family has a bigger family than I do, actually, and he has all of his ha family, for the main part, are all out here in Oregon. I love visiting Oregon. I always tell you guys this every single time we come over here. Like, I love it here. If he would ever to be like, let's move to Oregon, I'd be like, peace out like i'm out because first of all all his family's here maybe when we're older we're, we're, we're a little bit older out of our prime years yeah. <laughs> right now we're in our prime though oregon obviously is like nice and chilly it's like the vibes the christmas vibes we got here yesterday it was such a long day because number one i was up all night the day before trying to pick up my outfits and pack and then i had to do like some work stuff so that just made it so much harder. I went to sleep at, I think at five, but our, we had to get up to go to our flight at 6.30. So like, I literally felt like I closed my eyes and I opened them back up and I literally felt like a zombie. I was like, oh my God, like, this is crazy. Our first flight was fine. It was super easy. And then we got delayed in San Jose for like two hours. I was like so exhausted that I fell asleep on the seat. Mind you, I'm a very like picky person when it comes to like sleep. Like I can't sleep just like anywhere. Like I'm not that type of person. I wish I could. Yesterday, but yesterday, uh, girl, I was out like light. Like I didn't care how it looked. I put on some shades, put my hood up. I had this jacket on. I put it over me. I literally sat there and I like just knocked out. Like literally came in and was like, yeah, we had a two hour delay. I was like, what? Didn't feel it, whatever. So now we're on day 
two and we're on our way to get breakfast right now um, the place that we're going to is called the hive so we're going there and then we're probably going to be going to the nike store we're going to do some christmas shopping any last minute one and then yeah we're going to show you guys the rest of our day this is the origin origin Oregon. Well, as you can see, it looks like very Look small town vibes. That's an elevator? I don't know. Well, it says elevator. Whoa, look at this little store. It's a vintage little store. I wonder if we can just go in there for fun. This is a little barber shop. This is where you do your taxes. Woohoo! Tom Bush furniture. Tell me this doesn't look like, um, where Bella got almost kidnapped by all those people and then Edward went, came to save her. That's what it's giving. The city right now we're in, guys, is called Oregon City. I actually grew up in Northeast Portland, so this is not where I used to be at a lot, but there's a lot of, wait, that's the place right there. While we're here, it hasn't rained at all, so let's knock on some wood. I don't, is there any wood in here? That is not we'll wood. Pretend. The only wood we got is, um, Oh. you gonna knock on it? <laughs> No rain here is so much better. Like that, you can actually see the city. It's not. There's actually a library right here. Look. You know, Twilight was one, there. One of the things was filmed here, so I think you should take me since we're already here. Twilight was here. Edward and Bella were here. Vampires live here. Carla has been talking about Twilight nonstop. We will go see some Twilight stuff. Okay, I promise. Okay, well, we are actually in Oregon City, and this is where Carver's at, if you guys know where that's at. It's where Bella and her dad go to eat lunch every, wherever time. It's for some reason here, so maybe if we can drive by it, we'll come and came in. All right, guys, so we're in the restaurant. We're waiting for our food. You see the vibes? See the vibes? Now it's kind of empty. You see It's really nice in here, though. This is the music I listen in the car sometimes. I'm so excited to eat. All right, guys, look at this waffle. That looks so fire. Doesn't this look good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna try this waffle. Mm. It's good, huh? That's also really good. The whipped cream is not too sweet either. Like it's just. Okay. Guys, Carla's favorite thing to say is something's not too sweet because she doesn't like anything sweet. I'm more of a like spicy, savory girl. But yeah, guys, from here we're gonna go to shop and just look around a little bit. But I'll see you guys soon. How was breakfast? It was 10 out of 10, really good. I'm not too full, which is amazing because when I get eat too much, it makes my stomach hurt. Yeah. We're in Kansas <laughs> City. Guys, you know Carla's loving it here because it just feels like twilight. Yeah, like I'm Edward, why can't I be Jacob? No Jacob, are y'all team Edward or team Jacob? Let us know in the comments. Oh yeah. Look at this view guys. We're in Twilight. We're here. <laughs> wow, this is a dream come true. I need a picture right here. All right, guys, I'm not sure where the hell we are at, but we're in the woods. Carly wants to come to the woods so bad, and now we're here. You happy? It's me. We're here Saw this little twilight area, and now we're gonna head to go do some shopping. I'm Bella, so what are you doing here, Loka? Oh, we're just trying to find you. I must have just heard Hey guys. Right now, we are headed to a place called Multnomah Falls. As you can see the view, I don't know if you can see that water back there. We'll show you guys more as we get there. It's super nice. We've been loving Oregon. It's only our second day here, technically. I've been here when like, I was on a field trip in like elementary school, but never as an adult. So now I get to really, really see it again. So if you guys can see that, it looks so, just so cool. We're out here in the nature. We're really out here just, just like, just like taking it all in. So it's just really nice. 
but I'm really excited. I've always heard about this like place and how beautiful it is. I'm gonna say it again and I will say it again. It's also in Twilight. That's also one other thing why I'm excited. Guys, we're almost there and I'm excited. We're almost there. It is slightly raining, but it's not like heavy rain, so this would be fine. I see it. I see something. So we have made it to Monoma Falls. It's right over there. <laughs> I'm so excited, even though I'm really tired. She always tries to say I don't take her anywhere, so I'm taking her to all these spots and we're gonna enjoy them together. That's what husband and wife do. Although you're not wearing your ring, so today you're single. First of all, I so you're single I, today. I asked. Hey, are we should single? I take it are off? we single today? And you said you probably are we shouldn't. single today? No. Oh. Hey, we single today. I'm acting real single on this oh, mountain dude. top. Yeah. You want to play that? Yeah, guys, this is actually really, really exciting because me and Carla really haven't. We've done trails together and stuff, but this is like a legit, real place. Monoma Falls is a beautiful place. And we're with a beautiful woman. Beautiful man. I'm excited, so here we go. There's the falls up there. You see? Probably has to use the bathroom first, though. I have to pee, and I don't want to use the porta potty but I have no choice. Because the restrooms are closed. It is cold as <laughs> But you knew that already, huh? Yeah. I should just go pee too, just in case. Guys, we're getting a coffee even though we're going on a hike. Maybe we should do that afterwards. Maybe afterwards? Yeah, because I don't have a bathroom. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> we have an exhibit. Look at these cookies, guys. Hey, this shit's almost like, as big as your head. Guys, we're taking pictures of people because it looks really cool. <laughs> Alright guys, so the top is a mile. It's not that bad. It? That's not too bad at all, huh? I want to go through the bridge. The bridge is just right there, so we'll walk up. Are you enjoying your time so far? Thing you want to move to Oregon? Maybe. I would. I imagine we were kids, I could bring them here. Like, hey, hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Look, guys, it's right here. The rocks are rolling. Stay on the trail. Mm. And I said, shut up. <laughs> so. Right. Because you're childish. You know what I'm you're saying? You're childish. Because you shouldn't be telling me what to do. Look at this view, guys. Sheesh. We gotta go up this way a mile and then we'll get there. Just a mile, nothing crazy. Not gonna lie, guys, me and Carla are so tired. We got like half a mile to go, so we, we'll see you guys at the top. We made it to the, not the falls. This is like the river and there's like a little bridge here. It's honestly so pretty in person. I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice. Like we have to be here to see it. And it's just so magical and beautiful. Wow. It's so pretty. That would be cool if you go on that. Be like, hey, can we just get married right here? You get married there. You set up a table right here. Bella. Where the hell have you been, Loka? That's crazy, look at where we were at down there. That's crazy. Look at the drive. Made it. Made it to the top. It's actually really scary looking down down there. It was wasn't too bad, right? It wasn't too bad. Wow, guys. Ah! We're 
Ben, how you feel? I'm a little bit tired, but it was all worth it. It was a little bit cold. But again, like you're there, we already knew this. Like we already knew it was gonna be drizzling and we knew it was gonna be cold. So uh -huh. we came prepared and we were prepared to like suck it up. And we did, it was and fun. We did. I'm it a little bit tired too, my knees hurt. How you legs feel? I'm a little bit tired, but guess what? We had the best experience ever here at Multnomah Falls. So now we're gonna go get some food, we're gonna get some pho, and it's gonna be good. You ready? Yep. All right, let's go. <sighs> All right guys, now we're getting some pho. Uh, this is fucking awesome. We were pooped out. I can't wait to get this pho. If you guys don't know, pho is like ramen on steroids. It's way better. Put y'all on. Take a nap now. <laughs> so today I am cooking for Cayman and Carla. I'm super excited. I'm gonna be cooking something from my menu. If you guys don't know, I'm a personal chef here in Portland, Oregon. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Dime Peace Cuisine. So tonight on the menu, I am going to be making ribeye steaks. So I'm going to be making lobster, mashed potatoes, and then asparagus with my lemon aioli. I'm very excited. As you guys can see, the setup very romantic, very cute vibes for them. Their anniversary is coming. Up. So I just want to give them a little, you know, little romantic vibes while they're here in Portland. Like my sister said, she's going to be cooking for us and setting us up with a little cute romantic dinner. You guys go follow her and show her some love. I can't wait to see what she makes because she always cooks really good. You know, I'm the real OG cook of the house, but oh. I mean, she's a good understudy for me. You know? <laughs> she's like a sous chef for me. I'm a head chef out here. <laughs> nah, but we'll see you guys when she starts cooking. So these are the potatoes. We'll just let it go probably for about 15 minutes. They're not big potatoes, so I will put the lid on, but I'll put it on like halfway so it doesn't overflow. So I'm going to now season the ribeye steaks. Now basically I just washed them off. Yes, wash your meat. But you don't want any moisture on your steaks because that'll cause steam. So what I just did, I just pat dry. I just got a paper towel and pat dry the steaks so there wouldn't be any more water on them. So I only use three seasonings. You don't need to really season steaks because you're going to have aromatics. So you're gonna have rosemary, thyme, garlic, butter. So all that's gonna really enhance the meat. These are just kind of basic. So I just use coarse sea salt. We got some black pepper and this is really good. I know it might be a little controversial because it's like onion butter, but I really like it. I think it gives it like that kind of, what's the word? Whimsical. <laughs> <laughs> but no, these are the three. So, you know, you're not seasoning chicken, you're not doing fish, you're just doing steaks. So just really stick to the basics. And you wanna get it heavy because obviously like pepper is not salty. So you are gonna put a lot. I really just like to um, make sure it's really coated. And then I also like to flip it to season both sides because you are going to eat both sides. Press it. So those are my three steps for seasoning your ribeyes. I'm just gonna do the rest of the other two and then I'll let you know when we get the sizzling. So you guys know how it's very cool on Instagram, how people have the smoke. I always thought it was a smoke machine, but I found out that it's just dry ice and hot water. So I thought that it was really cool. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it looks with the decorations. Oh, that's so cool. How much are you supposed to put? It beats me. Hold on, cause I know something about science though. Looks like you making a potion though. <laughs> So this is the finished product. I'm so happy how it turned out. As I said earlier, we have lobster, fresh asparagus, mashed potatoes, red skin, and a ribeye with rosemary and garlic. I really hope that they enjoy. I'm super excited. You know, this is my first time really elevating myself. If you guys like what you see, book me. <laughs> <laughs> Did that. How are you feeling? Feeling myself. <laughs> Dinner is ready. I am so excited to eat. Shout out to my little sister Kayla. Right there. Hey. <laughs> She's doing her thing and we're excited to eat. It smells so good. Go show her some love. Go follow her page. We'll put it, we already put it down. We'll put it one more time right here. We're gonna take our first bite and dig in. Are you ready? Yes. Mmm. 
The texture of the steak is just perfect. I like my steak medium well, and it's just like cooked to perfection. Kayla never misses, honestly, so <laughs> yeah. I feel like she always had a passion for cooking. But where did you originally get your passion for cooking? Like, where did you, where did it start for real? I think that I saw like how it brought people together. A lot of the core memories that I have was centered around food, and I saw like my aunties, my grandma, like everybody cooking. I was like, I want to learn. So I remember like at nine years old, just watching my grandma in Arizona just cooking. It just went from there. And like literally, like when we would be watching TV, everybody would be watching SpongeBob, whatever. And I was on the Food Network watching Rachel Ray, <laughs> and I had her cookbooks, and I just, I just went from there. I'm self-taught, you know. I didn't go to school. But, well, I went to school, let's correct that. Big degree, <laughs> big degree, okay? But I didn't go to culinary school, so this is all self-taught. This is what I love to do, it's my passion. I love healthcare, but this is really my my passion, my craft. I'm glad that they enjoy it, and yeah, I'm just hoping to continue to do this for many years. We tried the steak, steak is really good. Now we're gonna try the potatoes and the asparagus. I already almost ate half of them. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, we've been waiting oh to eat for God. a long time, so. <laughs> we gotta eat. Mm. And I did t try like some of the asparagus with the potatoes together, and it's like a good combo together. I really yeah, potatoes and asparagus always is really good together. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you made that. I really like those potatoes too. I try to make potatoes and they do not come out like that. <laughs> yeah, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love lobster. I love seafood. I'm gonna just take this out of the show. Sorry, I take it out of the beautiful show. Mm. Lobster, bon appetit. Mmm. Another banger. Ten out of ten. If you guys have watched her channel, you know she cooked for us in the past before too. Mm -hmm. And she's really good at it. Wait, is there any dessert? No. <laughs> dessert. <laughs> the dessert. We're gonna keep eating and we'll see you guys soon. We are on our way to see a venue today and I'm so excited. We're almost there. It took us about an hour from where we were at. A venue for what though? Oh. Just at random we're throwing a party? <laughs> We're seeing it. We're actually a throwing venue a giant for our wedding. block party. We're throwing a, throwing a giant block party. And we're going to a, a giant for... block party. Um, no, it's a venue. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. We're looking at a venue for our wedding. So we're really excited. And Kayla's with us right here. She actually is the one that booked it and like looked it up for us. So shout out to Kayla for helping yes. us out. We obviously don't live in Oregon, so it is a little bit hard. But Cayman's family Yo, is- Yo, he just dropped the whole couch. <gasps> oh my Yo, God. he dropped the whole couch. Yo, you don't even see it. That could have caused an that accident. That could have been bad. Like say if it dropped in the car. That truck drove by and like the entire truck fell out the back of it. I mean, an entire okay. couch, couch fell off the back of the truck. I'm glad it didn't hit us. We want the wedding to be in Oregon, y'all. We already talked about that before, so we're actually trying to see them now. It's a little bit foggy, but mm -hmm. that's how the vibe is here anyway. We'll still check out the venue, get the vibes. We'll take you guys with us and let us know what you think. Let us know. Wedding see coming soon. So this is what it's looking like. It's really foggy out. <laughs> hey, but she said she wants twilight. Tell me this doesn't give twilight. <laughs> is this is ain't this what vampires be? <laughs> a vampire would be loving this weather. They would. They, they would. don't like the sun, right? No. No. They glow. Remember the they glow when they, they, they glow when they shimmer. Sun. Oh my god, it looks so cute. Well, okay, this was giving haunted house, but I'm here for it. <gasps> wow, this is beautiful. I can't see anything. What you seeing? <laughs> Kayla, you got glasses for what? <laughs> Things do not work. It's giving con like English country, uh, uh, yeah. like the countryside. Wow, this is so pretty. Okay guys, this is the front door. Tell me this doesn't give English countryside. We're gonna go in there. And then there's like a whole backyard back there. It is foggy, but we're gonna go look at it anyways. Yeah, um, I can tell though. Property right here. So, yeah. um, I just wish. <laughs> no, we can tell though. We can definitely. <laughs> So where would she walk out from? Um, so there are a couple options. Okay. We've had the brides um, walking, we'll, we'll go over that way in just a little okay. bit. Okay. That little arch door. And um, coming through. It will come through this way. This way okay. Or if there's like a little hidden path right here. Mm. Just try to picture all the flowers over here. I know it's like, you know, all barren and sad <laughs> right now, but um, this is oh, like super hidden. <laughs> I mean, it's probably nothing like what you see in California because I go to California a lot. Yes. And there are a lot of. Yes. Mm -hmm. But over there, we have a little patio um, that's covered with 
covered in string lights, so you can go. And we have the. Um, that's just like a little library space where a lot of couples like to um, sign their papers. Okay. Because it gives off that like very presidential yeah. <laughs> vibe. So a lot of people like to sign. This is where you are. Oh, yeah. This is cool. Um, um, and inside, it's a bedroom. Not that oh. you need it, but we have some couples that choose to stay overnight. Um, so they will be in here, so that in the morning they can just get out and then start getting ready without yeah, wasting time morning, yeah. coming back and forth. So this is like a little, a little suite. Yeah. Like a little creation apartment. <laughs> this is cool. How this connect directly to that little patio area outside. Oh. I like it. It's really cute. Your jacket kind of, you match the vibe right now. <laughs> yeah, guys, so far so good. I need Altoids. Carl's taking an Altoid because she just wants to be fresh, you know? Yeah, good job. She wants to be fresh. That's so. Guys, we are going to sit down and chit chat. Yeah. Let's get to it. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, just kind of hanging out this okay. way. Would it be, you'll be going right here? Or I think it'd be like here. <laughs> Alright, guys, we just got done seeing it. Pretty nice. How do you feel about it? I like it. I love it. Can I see it? Super nice, the coordinator, very nice, the owner. I think it's the perfect venue. It's also the only one that we keep taking this to, so we gotta, <laughs> we gotta look at others too. Oh, yeah. But it was really good, it was oh, good. Really look how foggy it is out here, y'all see this? All right, y'all, right now we at Bridge City Souls. I'm about to cop some Kobe Grinches. All right, y'all, what y'all thinking? Yeah. Carly, you copping anything? Maybe. No? Maybe I will, maybe I will. Okay, you copping anything? I like those. We're back at the airport and we're going back home. We're going back to our babies. We're going back to Cali. 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 We're home excited to see home. our doggies. Thank you. We got to the airport really early, guys, because we thought it was going to be super crowded, but in reality, it's not at all. It's not a bad thing, though. At least we're ahead of schedule because last time we had a delay and it pissed us off. Yeah. Hopefully we don't have any delays today. That would be amazing. Hopefully no more delays, but so far, so good. It's still not even Christmas yet. It's Christmas Eve, so it is Christmas, Christmas Eve. But not Christmas yet. So we're going to get home. For us, it's Christmas. It still will be when we get home. It will be when we get yeah, home. Yeah, we'll be there. And I'm excited. Got my gift right here. Period. I have mine right here. I, I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> Did that take too long? Hi everybody, it's Christmas and we're all here together. First of all, Merry Christmas to everybody and yeah. Yeah. Happy New Year almost. But we're just getting ready for Christmas. My mom's here, obviously. Mm -hmm. well, she's been cooking tamales and pozole since yesterday. Right now we're just like getting everything ready. Porque en México es tradicional hacer tamales, pozole, mm -hmm. buñuelos. Eso es lo tradicional. Yeah, that's the yeah. traditional thing to do. And usually we would traditionally like be celebrating honestly even yesterday. yesterday. Day. Well, today's actually Christmas. Today is a combination of Christmas Eve and Christmas yeah. Day. And okay. we actually have a lot of presents. As like, you guys can see. I have like literally half of our living room low key. My mom brought her Christmas gifts, and me and Lewis actually robbed Christmas yeah, we gifts all night, night long. Like, I think we went to bed till like three. Four. So I wasn't four. like tired, so because I felt like I had so much energy. Because we took an energy drink. Yeah, we did. Do it. We like. Well, that's why you was up, huh? Yeah. Oh, wait, I want to give you guys a gift right now so that you guys can open it. Early gifts. Early gifts. It doesn't matter who picks what, like, you can pick whichever you want. Uh, I like this colorful one. Okay. Ma, it's a okay. gift that yeah. uh, early. Aww. Lo podemos abrir right now. Okay. I like the little bow. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, so cute. I got one too. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh. I love, you know, my little personalized oh my ornaments. I know, I was like, this would be like a cute little, obviously this is when we went to Oregon and we wanted to bring back to oh. Bigfoot. That's from like the falls. I like it. Oh, I 
like it. Oh my god. Mira you know what's eso. funny? Remember I used to love fishing growing up randomly? Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I'm keeping my tree up till February so I can keep this up. Well, we're all gonna help prep cook and stuff. I'm actually really hungry and I'm excited to eat some tamales and some pozole. And what else we got? This is the first time I think Kim is gonna try pozole, green pozole. I've had it before, but not like nobody's made it for me. No, no one's made it for you. This is the first time. So. Wait, can you show me my pajamas? <laughs> this I got from Amazon. It looks nice. It looks like a designer set or something. It's all nice and silky. Oh, my mom wants to show you the Mondays. Oh, it smells good too. So what's all emphasis? It's like garbanzo beans so or it's chickpeas. Like a soup? Yeah, well you can call it either one. I found out they're the same thing. And then it's like chicken and mm -hmm. it's like a soup. Y it smells really good. Y el chile es bien especial porque se tiene que moler con un chile que se llama chile ancho para que quede bien verde. And then is this the same thing? Just the red version? Or no, este different? es para los tamales. Oh, that's for the tamales. Este porque mis hijos. It's because we, me and Carla like to eat a certain way. You actually, I mean you can eat tamales like this, but we like to eat it like corundas, which is a different type of dish. Yeah. This put, is like, just a like a sauce. sauce on top. And you put like sour cream. And that sounds like it'd like be that. good though. Yeah. So, we just like it a little bit extra. So do people, other people drink, eat them dry or like? Um, yeah, I, I don't really like mine dry, but a lot of people do like them dry. I feel like this... anybody says like, that's not even supposed to eat the male. <laughs> that's yeah, how me and Carly eat that. Are they gonna come for y'all? Yeah, hey, it's not on me. It's, I don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm saying we eat it like corundas, which is a different thing. Well, I'm excited. Is the pozole spicy too? Is it normally spicy? I mean, I like the pozole. Ah, donde para que no se me olvide. A mis bebés les gusta mucho esto en el pozole. Yo sé que cocino totalmente diferente. What's up, Gucci? What's up? What's up, buddy? Look at his jacket. Ew, look at your jacket, Gucci. Look at your jacket. So this is a mix where you put. Try this before. So you just pour it in there or what? Yes, it's like a drink. I hope I do this right. <laughs> I'm scared. And it like infuses, right? It infuses it. But you gotta like leave it for like it's a long shaking. time, right? Yeah. It's it. strong. <laughs> really? Look at that, guys. Then you have to shake it. Yeah. We are taking our first shot in these little Santa Claus um, little shot glasses. Toast to you guys and for always supporting all of us. So, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So Mexican. I know, right? That wasn't too bad, mom. That was a little bit. She's going to test it first. Okay, guys, so she's going to prepare a bowl of pozole. Pozole. Oh, okay. <laughs> pozole, my bad. Dang. <laughs> oh, yeah. Next up is the what? Is this lettuce? Pollo, cabbage, is this cabbage, cabbage, radishes, right? Aren't these horse radishes? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, on the side? Yeah. Ew. I'm gonna take it to the table. So cute. Para supuestamente así. Yeah. This again. This is not how you eat them. It's just me and Carla way. Mm -hmm. This is just our way. Because people will say. They will say something. So what's the traditional way, like? like this. Just, just, like that. just like that. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like it maybe looks. Maybe a little bit of sour cream. That's it. This looks good. I'm put this. Ooh. This is Carla and Fernando um, recipe. La receta. This looks good. Ooh, so good. Thank you very much. <laughs> One more. Hey, I thought that was mine. Oh, sorry. I just want to thank God for the food on our table and the hands that blessed it. Quiero darle gracias a Dios por la comida que tenemos en la mesa y las manos que las preparó. I am so thankful for my family. Estoy tan agradecido por ustedes todos. Estoy agradecido por la vida que tengo, the life we've been able to have, and we still have. And I'm so thankful for everybody who supports us. I'm just so happy to be here with you guys. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to everybody out there who celebrates it and anything else. Just have a blessed day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, we're about to open presents. Yes, and we have a lot of gifts, by the way. We're watching Come Along. We just silenced it. Look at our, our presents. Girls, are you guys ready for presents? Mm-hmm. 
You guys ready for presents? Yes. Hell yeah! Mom, are you ready for the presents? Oh yeah. Mira, this is for Gucci. Gucci's a sweater. This is Gucci. Gucci's little sweater for cooking. Yes, this is another. Oh. Aww. Para que le combine a tu casa ahorita lo voy a poner. Sí, ahorita. Es para Cayman. Thank you. Oh, should we open Chanel and Fenty's? Because I feel like she's like wanting me to open okay. it for her. Yes. Fenty, come here. Look, Fenty, come here, buddy. This is for you, guys. <gasps> what is it? Aww. What is it, Mama? What's this for? Look what you guys Chanel got. Look at Look this. At this is for the 14th of February. She said for oh, Valentine's Day. <gasps> Look at this. What is that? Who is this? Who is that? Who is that? Who is this? Squeak. Oh, 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 oh. More toys? Look. Look. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Pero les compré todo lo que creo que van a necesitar. Yeah. Oh, that's so oh, cute. I love this. Perfect. Okay, man. You're number <laughs> one. <laughs> You're very intelligent. Sí. Oh. Ooh. Red is like from my house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. This is what I'm talking about. PJs for me. Oh, we got some socks. Always need socks. Yeah. Wait, wait, look at my PJs. Oh, wait, I like that little PJ set. Even more socks. These are really cozy socks. Oh, wait, socks. those are from your dad's. Shout out to Columbia. Yeah? So yeah. My dad works for them. We have a little kit to cut my nails and stuff. Fellas, make sure you take care of your hygiene. You were just cutting Period. your nails. You were just cutting your nails. I was your nails. just cutting my nails. What'd you get? More PJs. Look at this. We got more socks. I'm gonna be socked up. You have hella socks. The thing is, as when you get older though, I really love socks because you need them. Yeah, yeah you do. And underwear. And you work out and like all this stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, you I get dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. esto es para cuando la gente va a visitarte. Son de plástico. Yeah. So, esto es para cuando la gente te va a visitar. Oh, yeah. Como quiero hacer New Year's. Yeah. New Year's. New Year's. Year's. More PJs for me. Cool. Like Valentine's Day PJs? Uh huh. I don't even cook, but I need red stuff what in my is, kitchen. Yeah, you do. Oh, that's a nice oh, pen. I should learn how to cut. Oh, oh we got like some more it. pajamas. Oh, this is oh, nice. Nice. Four of these today. Tonight, yeah. Fill them though. They feel really I soft. Look, oh, yeah, they are. Oh, wait. Mm. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, you got all the PJs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I told my mom, I was like, okay. all I want is pajamas. Uh huh. You like your toys, Janelle? Oh, this is a nice robe. We got more PJs. These are perfect because I need these too. Guys, look at my robe. Thank you. Thank You're you, welcome. Mom. You're welcome, guys. Oh, these are cute. I'm gonna wear these out. We got some more pants. Oh, too. more PJs. Like too. Pajamas was our <laughs> what we needed for everyone. No, we definitely needed pajamas because we didn't have any. Oh my Kevin god. Kevin doesn't have pajamas. Oh, no? All we have is Christmas ones right now. No, 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 no. Yeah, oh, for this for me. For the 14 of February. Oh, yeah. that's cute. <laughs> yeah. We Cops also got exercise July. bands for the gym. For the gym. Yeah. Put these in the gym. Yep. Look, I need to get, like, someone needs to cuff me cuff so me. I can wear this. Están fuertes. Sí, están fuertes. Y este es tuyo. We got a lot of good stuff, guys. Did you open that bag already? No. Oh, they're little saucers. Oh, little sauce sauce. For soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Sushi. Oh, donuts. Oh, it's a donut. Dije de Target. I need these, actually. More PJs. Carla has PJs for every day of the week now. <laughs> Socks. Uh huh. With hearts on it. Oh, those are cute. I like these that have even oh, little like cuffs and things like that. Oh, little shorts. PJs oh, too. Cute. Little boy oh, shorts, curly. like little boxers. That's giving QT. An umbrella. Know, it's pink. Uh, Wait, it's bad luck to open it inside. It you know, it's about to be raining season. It was just raining. Oh, what is this? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a perfume. Este perfume supuestamente es de hormonas que se lo pone la mujer aquí para atraer al hombre en una noche. Apparently, it's like hormone, like hormone, like something. It's like a pheromone thing. Pheromone thing for guys. Like when you go on date night with like your man and you're supposed to get. I've seen that. It's like pheromones in it. You're supposed to like get more attracted to her. Déjeme te explico. Le dije, Carla. Carla, when you open this gift, do not make a big deal. Lo, lo, lo ignora, please. Y le digo, no vais a decir, ¿qué es esto? No vayas a decir, Carla. Y le dice, basically me estás diciendo que soy bien chismosa. Le digo, basically sí, Carla, por favor. ¿Qué es esto? Yo, ay, Carla. This next gift is to Lewis. It's from me and Carla. We really thought this one out, huh? 
We did. He can actually test it out today. Today. Uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy. Wait, I'm gonna need the scissors. There you go. Ooh. I feel like one of those little kids is like. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I can't open it. Oh my god. That's a nice ass scooter. <laughs> Drive. <laughs> so, tu carro, tu primer carro. This is like basically getting my first car because I don't know how to drive. I don't have my driver's license. I'm almost 24 and it's really embarrassing, but at the same time, I was born to be a passenger Aww. prince. When people ask me what's my dream car, I'm like an electric scooter. The BMW? It's your yo BMW. Yo yo <laughs> this is like getting my first car. Mm -hmm. And then we were just thought about like you can go to the store really quickly and you can get like a little basket oh to just God, If anybody sees somebody zooming through the town, it's actually it just He needs to charge it right now so he can test yeah, it tonight You should charge it right now so he can test it It's a little blanket Aww. Fancy loves blankets Look Fancy her. loves blankets so, and Chanel Chanel loves like a little toy mm -hmm. yep. So I was like this is good for both of them and yep. it's a baby I don't like getting them dog stuff because they're little babies to me No, like <laughs> that's mine that's mine. Oh, 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 You can rip it open. <laughs> what is so it? Cute. I've been wanting this so bad because I'm a popcorn lover and I love watching movies. If you guys know, if you don't know, I love watching movies and I love. I got popcorn machine. Oh. Oh. So we can put, ah. we'll put it upstairs. Yeah, that's so cute. Oh, that little thing. I was gonna give you guys an, a snow cone machine. And Carl was like, no, but that would have been cute to have it a snow cone together. machine and then you can have a popcorn machine. Dang. Hello. Your birthday is on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> this gift is from us to Carla's mother. There's something she really needs, actually. <gasps> Cookie. Uh, it's for the TV, amor. It's really for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's basically a stroller that she can carry the dogs in. Yes, all of them. If she really wanted to, she can carry like multiple dogs. Yeah. Oh, he's a baby. And look, like, you just like it's black, the favorite color. Uh huh. Oh my god, that means that thank you guys. Like I picked, I was like, oh, this one's just gonna like for sure. No. It's like rose gold and it's black. Oh my god. Oh, that one's like a, a baby one. I know it's like literally like a baby. Stroller. I would literally put a baby in there. Look how pretty it is. Oh, the leather. Lewis got her Ariana Grande's perfume. Yeah. Let me smell And the bottle's like a heart. A heartbreaker. I know. Oh my god. This is so nice. It's like very so nice. Oh my god, it smells so girly. It's like girly vibes. We're like a bien feminine. It's like a soft. Ah, I can't feel Feminine. Yeah. All right, guys, so Lewis got me a couple gifts first. Was this really nice toothbrush? He's really into hygiene, if you yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, and our Dennis actually told us to get a new toothbrush, so we had to. And then he also got me this sign, and it says, Warning, may yell at video games. Now, I'm pretty quiet. Like, I'm not quiet, quiet, but I'm pretty quiet. But when I'm actually, the only time you hear me really yell is on the game. And even <laughs> if they're all here, they probably just hear me randomly yell, but it's because I'm on the game. Anyway, I play the game, y'all know how I be. But thank you. You're welcome. And then there's one more thing for the one let us know too, guys. Do you guys rip off the paper when you open them, or do you kind of like put gently open them? I feel like you really enjoy it when you just rip it off. Yeah. And then it's like you don't want to like mess it up. Oh, it's like a light. Yeah. We want to see. I'm gonna take it out. Yeah. It's like a little LED light. I thought it was like the kid to just even like have it on. Your have room. it on your room. Yeah. I don't know which one you play. I was like, doesn't he play the Xbox? I play all of them. He plays literally like all of them. Oh, Wait, does cute. it light up? Yeah. Oh, you gotta put batteries. Got batteries. Oh, cute. But just imagine when it does light up. I'm, I'm guessing it's it, would it be white? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how it looks like. Xbox. You got stuff in your room. Thanks. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Christmas. Oh, give me my heart. So this gift is from me and 
Thank you, Papa. Thank you so much. Okay. Ay, el papel está bien cute. Okay, no sabes lo que es, pero. Pero es que me gusta lo negro. No, pero tienes que mirar que de verdad es. Oh my god. Eso es, eso es como. It's like a dog bed. Oh. En el asiento, uh -huh. oh my god, Bien, o sea, lo puedes, es como su camita. So para you put on the seat and then, yeah. <gasps> Papá, ya tiene el mucho el negro para, como, para que combine. <gasps> Él tiene como bolsita, los dos con el chico. It doesn't like this, like a pillow. Yeah, and there is in there. And that's the inside. Este es el cinturón. Es el cinturón que va aquí atrás del asiento para que no. Thank you guys, I need Porque it. Porque I know, I'm like. We need one too. Son más pantuflas. Más pantuflas, miren, mm. y las necesitamos. Pero negras, pero con cuatro house. Sí, mm -hmm. porque los vean. Para que comiera cuatro house. Oh, they can't match the blanket. Uh -huh. Y con la blanca, la... mira. Yeah. Oh, hoy día necesitaba esto. Yeah. Yeah. La blanca. Yeah. Oh, my God. One for me, one for me. This bag is cute. Oh, this is doggy. I feel like taking you, mommy, kinda. She thinks it's for her. Deodorant. You know what? I just <laughs> need a deodorant. Apparently it smells really good. Oh, it does smell really good. It smells like fresh and clean. Socks. Oh, wait, but these are nice little Nike socks. Nike socks. <gasps> oh, oh. Running shoes. Running. so cute. Oh my like god, a, wait. These are like a really, really chic. Oh, look. I got a perfume too. Oh, I smell like a man. Yeah, <laughs> Oh my god! I kept saying I wanted one of these sticky things for my phone. Literally, that's Now you can sing it to your phone. Oh my god, thank you. Hey guys, so Lewis is building mom's stroller. Is it pretty easy? Yeah. It's like a little baby stroller, let's see. So now we're playing a game called Loteria. And basically, from what I hear... It's competitive. It's like bingo. Yeah, it's, like it's a game like bingo. She'll call up a card. Mm -hmm. And then when you get the entire board, that is when you win. Yes. You have to yell out Loteria. You have to say Loteria. Or else you don't win. Yep. Because somebody else could yell it out before you. Before you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for example... El borracho. So, el borracho. So I have it right here. I don't have it, so... We're using M&M's today. We have, usually we'll use frijoles, we'll use beans. Oh yeah, we got some beans in there though. It's American style, <laughs> remix. La araña, la rosa. The original way is actually you're supposed to say la rosa, el barril. Like, you're supposed like to say that. really, really uh -huh. fast. But for yeah. you, we'll el diablo. Because this is hard. El arbol. Just been learning Spanish. El I... violoncillo. Damn, we got none of these. Oh shit, those fit. El negrito. Not the black man. <laughs> el soldado. El pescado. La dama. El melón. La garza. El valiente. El caso. El paraguas. El paraguas. La botella. La bandera. El cotorro. Oh, la ah! Ah! Yo nada más tuve way. cuatro, guys. I was one away. Yeah, we're, we're I was all one. Shot, shot. So, so winner takes a shot? Shot, yeah. La chalupa. Let me some chalupas, man. This is good. La muerte. La bota. La palma. El barrio. El diablito. La rana. La corona. La botella. El borracho. El mundo. El arpa. La rosa. Lotería. Ah. All right, guys. So it's the end of Christmas. We're going to say good night. Good night, guys. I had like six tamales. Hope tamales. you guys enjoyed the video. Oh my god, I had like eight shots. Good night. Merry Christmas. Take a drink of water. <laughs> que tengan una feliz Navidad y un próspero año nuevo porque ya viene el año nuevo. Oh, sí, no, no, no. Que tengan una feliz Navidad y un año nuevo oh. y también oh. un día de San Valentín. Por si oh. no los oh. veo. She said, if I don't see you 
Happy Valentine's Day. We have just taken down all the Christmas presents, all the Christmas presents, all the Christmas decoration, and now we're just cleaning. But one of my Christmas gifts that we did not show you guys was this. This is a gift from Cayman to me. And I've been wanting this Dyson for a really long time, but I was like, um, not for that much money. So <laughs> I asked it for a Christmas present because if you guys didn't know, I love cleaning and that is like what satisfies me. So this is a big deal for me. First things first, it has different attachments. This one's the floor attachment and this one's the carpet attachment. You can also take this off and it could be like a little vacuum. So. You just press the button here, mm -hmm. hold it, and it even has a laser so you can see where the dust is at. You see that? Oh, yeah, you see that dust? <laughs> I mean, I just cleaned, so it's probably not that dirty, but like around the edges here, you can see like all the dust that you normally wouldn't see, but with this, you can see that. Look, it's all cleaned out. As you can see, you saw all the dust. There's probably more dust over there. It goes like higher, it gets stronger. It actually like somehow um, knows there is more dust or dirt there. So it'll like do even more of a high volume to it. So yeah, I love my present. I think it's a really good gift. And if you know, you know that honestly some vacuums, they just break down over years, unfortunately. And this one lasts a long, really long time still. So. I just wanted to show you guys that. Bye.